Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kinsey, if you guys are new here. If you guys are new here and you guys like this video, be sure to subscribe and make a lot of lifestyle videos, vlogs, all that stuff. It's super fun. I'm like sitting on my legs so I'm taller for this video and my foot is going to fall asleep and it's going to be really painful. So in today's video, I asked for some questions on Instagram for me to answer. I almost said for you guys to answer that you guys have. So we're doing like a nice little Q&A. I have some green tea. Comment down below what your favorite tea is, your favorite coffee. Speaking of coffee, you guys have been going crazy over the Chick-fil-A cold brew, the vanilla cold brew that Dom and I went crazy about in a vlog for. Oh no, and then my blue bottle order, which is a, this is, these are questions, so I'm just answering them now, um, which is a, New Orleans with oat milk. It's the best coffee in the world if you guys go to Blue Bottle. It's literally my favorite drink that will ever exist. There's nothing that can top it. I love Alfred too, but like nothing will top this. And anyways, I have never been tagged in more stories, more posts, nothing about anything. You guys are going crazy over all of this right now. It's just really funny. So if you guys are one of the people who um, like got some of that, let me know in the comments down below. It's just really funny. So, anyways, today is Monday. Um, this morning I went on a hike, and now I'm filming today. I'm gonna go to Orange Theory tonight, just like, you know, the normal stuff. But, I'm home. It is a work day. We're gonna film some videos. Um, most embarrassing story. Okay, I purposely am answering this one because this isn't the most embarrassing story, but this is something embarrassing that just happened. I'm gonna insert the Instagram story. Okay, guys, so do you see that mirror? Um, Sav and I were just <laughs> trying to fit it in my car. My camera doesn't flip anymore. Um, there's like literally no way it was ever gonna fit in my car. Like, to, like, no, like, like guys, like I cannot even like it was not yeah. even. Let me know because it's extremely embarrassing. Yeah. So here we are. Yeah, okay, so we're driving and oh, this guy's. Oh my gosh, it's oh. worse. The guy literally from the house is coming oh, out. No, we're so no, sorry. We're so we're sorry. sorry. Literally, sir, we're, we're already so embarrassed. Sorry. Enough. So anyways, we're trying to put this sorry. mirror. That's sorry. No, we're good, sir. Sorry. Oh, no. We're trying. Why isn't my car backing up? We're trying to put this um, mirror in my car that's like not gonna fit, right? And we're like laughing really hard because we're really trying to make it fit. And then these guys literally pull down the street, right? <laughs> in front of everyone and just screaming, it's not going to fit. Like it's just not happening. And they won't stop. And I'm just like, like at that point, we're laughing so hard. We're like crying because it's so <laughs> stupid and embarrassing. And then they start recording. So there's probably an Instagram. Sorry, I can't go around, sorry. Then they're taking videos of us, so if anyone sees this really embarrassing story anywhere video of us trying to fit this gigantic mirror into my 3 Series BMW, um, please, um, there's probably, sorry, literally, and this is just so much worse right now! Am I gonna hit this pole? Like, no, 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 you're fine. I'm not. But he's still watching us. Are we sure I'm not gonna hit the pole? Ooh. Oh! Chill, everyone. Okay, so, like I'm saying right now, this is a lot. It was all our fault. So yeah, it was really embarrassing. Sav and I were driving down Laurel Canyon. We saw this mirror. There was no way it was gonna fit. I have driven three series. Like my car is so small. But I don't know what we were thinking. And these guys in like a big Escalade are like making fun of us, laughing at us, taking videos of us doing it. And like it was so embarrassing. It was really humiliating. So that's a recent embarrassing story. It was honestly so funny. Like we were just laughing so hard. How do you push past the slump of needing to do work when you're tired? This is me all the time. Um, I am really great. I'm really lucky because I have like an office space, so I'm able to make that like very like positive environment. So I will just go in, but you can do this anywhere. Like you don't need an office for this. I'm just telling you what I do. Um, I'll play some music. I have like a jazz playlist that really just like puts me in a good mood. Light some candles. I'll clean up my space and I'll just get everything out and drink some coffee. I have to drink some coffee. So that's what I do. Um, but I think it's about like changing your environment and just making it a little bit better and like something that you're like excited to work in Rather than like laying in bed like don't work from bed. Don't do that. You'll fall asleep Ride or die makeup product a cosmetic CC cream um, But I don't have the one in my shade right now. It's really 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 horrible being me right now What is your favorite place to get jewelry love the cross necklace and the classic hoops? So these rings are the M jewelers. I wear them every day. I normally wear my cross necklace every day It's like back there somewhere um, that's also from the M Jewelers. These hoops are from Amazon, and then the other hoops that I wear all the time that are a little smaller and thicker are from H&M. That's pretty much all the jewelry that I wear. I do have more, but this is, like, my go-to. I want to try out some more jewelry from, like, Adina's Jewels and, um, like, Majuri. Is that how you say it? I want to keep going to, like, you know, like, the, like, $100 average price point. Um, I want, like, a whole 
jewelry collection. I want to do a whole jewelry collection video for you guys because I love jewelry. Like, I'm obsessed with it. Um, also, with the M Jewelers, they're on sale, like, literally all the freaking time. So, and I know that you can get stuff like this from Amazon, too. Today, all my to-do list is to make, like, an Amazon page, like, everyone has those, with all my, like, favorite products, my holy grails, stuff that I talk about all the time, so it's just so much easier for you guys to, like, go on, and you guys can see it, and you'll have, like, direct links and stuff. So, I'll add some of those rings. I have some friends who have them, so I know that they're good, um, that are really similar to this if you're, like, an Amazon person. Slash, it's probably, like, a little bit cheaper. Share your most important tip for a better life. Um, I think my, like, biggest piece of advice, especially something that's just been, like, really on, on my heart lately, uh, on my mind, um, has been just keep the first things first. Like, I think so often I, like, I know what my, like, personal values and, like, morals are, and I think it's so important for me to, like, keep the first things first and, like, keep, like, um, for me, like, my faith basically first and not, like, my relationship with God and not, like, my fear or my worries or, like, my job even or school, like, whatever it is, like, nothing else comes first. Um, and that makes everything else in my life fall into place. So that is my number one thing. Advice on how to let go of best friends who aren't good for you but haven't done anything wrong. And then someone else asked basically something along the lines of like how do you like move on to like from things in life. I have definitely gone through this before. Um, I think for me, I don't know, like sometimes you do just drift from friends because of whatever reasons like sometimes there isn't really even a reason like there's nothing that they did nothing that you did um this is a really hard thing for me because I'm like very loyal like if you are my friend you are my friend like I they teach us like to like hold people like this like literally in your hand instead of like grabbing onto them you know the people that you like always have a seat at the table with you know but you don't want to like hold on to people because that'll either like hinder you or them like if they need to go off for a little bit they need to go off for a little bit and just kind of respecting that but for me um i was talking to a friend about this a while ago but it's like you know sometimes i don't know how else to describe this other than like sometimes you just know in your spirit like i guess just deep down that like a friendship isn't really meant to be at like the forefront of your life but it doesn't mean that they've done anything wrong or that you've really done anything wrong or like there's nothing bad that's happened it's just that like you know like in your spirit that it's just not meant to be or like not meant to be right then or whatever and like that's a really hard place to be in because it's like there's nothing that really happens so like there's no real explanation other than like i know deep down this is not for me right now or this isn't for them and i think in times like that um it's like that's just clearing out space and room in your life for something else to come in and every single time i'm like so grateful for something else to come in or something else to come into their lives like you guys are both like things are meant to benefit both of you you know so, yeah i think that's it it's a hard place to be in though because there's no like real explanation and things just like kind of happen and there's no like animosity like there doesn't need to be like animosity or like this big dramatic thing like sometimes it's just like hey this is where i'm at right now i can't really do this you know what i'm saying i don't know it's a really hard place to be in though i really feel for you i'm sorry okay how do you teach yourself to wake up early so like i do wake up early majority of the time this morning i let myself sleep in until like nine monday mornings are hard for me because i have like a really long day at church before like i got there at seven and i left at 11 yesterday like 7 a.m 11 p.m but i had like a midday break but i'm normally like really tired monday mornings but normally I'll wake up early. My biggest tip is to book things in the morning, whether that's an early morning workout class or like coffee with a friend or whatever it is. Like just definitely like waking up early. That makes the biggest difference for me. That's really helpful. Someone said, where has Molly been? Molly and I talk all the time, like literally still all the time. She's just in Boston. So it's really sad. We haven't seen each other in like over a year, which is so crazy. Cause like, like Molly is like family to me. Like I can't even imagine my life without Molly, but um yeah she's just been in boston so it's been very sad that i haven't seen her i want to go to boston really soon um i do want to go to boston this summer i think i might be doing an internship which i didn't realize through zoe so we'll see what happens how can you tell if someone likes you or if you like them okay i can only speak from personal experience but um the past few times this has like happened with me i can tell if i like someone by if I see them during the day when I'm supposed to be working, that is like very out of character for me because I like, if I have a work day, I'm like, no, I'm working. I can like do something after. But like, as soon as I'll like kind of mess up my schedule for them, like work schedule, which isn't really good. That's how I know. 
Um, I can tell if they do by, I think it's just like, if they're like investing more time into you or like you can just tell when things have changed or if they're like driving like to you a lot. This is just different because it's LA. Like if they're driving like into like where I live or whatever a lot, um, like driving here is just a pain so it's really easy to like tell. That's like very bare minimum, but it's just things like that. Like they're going out of their way to like see you or whatever. That's easy to tell. I always say like, cause LAX here, the our airport here is so, which I'm sure everyone knows what LAX is, but it's so annoying. It is like the most, it's like such a big hassle. Driving there is so annoying. Like, but the second that someone picks you up or takes you to LAX, that's how you know that's like locked down. That's, that's like locked down. Like, that's it. Um, what do you think you're gonna do after college? Okay, everyone. This is, um, what a question to ask. Okay, this is like, I'm like in a really good mood, so I really don't want to talk about this that much, but I want to just be honest with you guys and share where I'm at because I don't want this to ever be something where I like am faking it. But with that being said, like, I think it's totally okay to like withhold a lot from the internet like that's fine I think that's healthy honestly I don't know I've already like shared with you guys that I'm definitely going through a harder time right now in the past few months have been like really hard with that being said I'm so fulfilled in like my relationships and like I love my church like there's so many good things that happen too so like when I'm like happy and posting online like that's not fake but like I, I, I feel like I'm, something that I've learned that's huge is that like joy and like mourning are not um like respecters of each other like in a season where you're having a really hard time that doesn't mean that there's no joy so like if you're going through like a really like bad depression or anxiety or like whatever it is that doesn't mean that like if you're like you can also still have depression is not really a good example but like um if you're going through a hard time like don't feel bad for also having like good moments does that make sense i don't know i'm just like trying to make the best out of it Anyways, I feel like because all this has happened, maybe that's why, but I've never been less sure of myself in my life. And that's really never been, like, I I came out of the womb and I was like, I'm going to do this and that, like, very headstrong, probably borderline prideful, like, just very, like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, like, very sure of myself, I was like, I can do it, never really doubted myself. And I've never been like a super insecure person. Obviously we all deal with insecurities. I'm not a robot. Like I definitely dealt with my own insecurities, but I feel like issues that I've dealt with have more so been like depression and anxiety has been a bigger thing in my life than insecurities have been. And it's not like a physical appearance insecurity. It's just like a, I'm going through it kind of thing. I think because I'm going through it, I've like let a lot of fear creep in and I've let a lot of like insecurities and I'm just not sure of myself. And because of that too, I'm kind of just bored of myself maybe. I don't know, like I'm tired. I love YouTube and I love everything I do. Like I'm not complaining at all. I'm just like voicing how I'm confused. I'm kind of afraid that I've worked for like six years and all this stuff and this isn't what I meant to do. Even though I know that that is like 95% not the chance, like 95% not the case. Yeah, like I know that that's probably not the case, right? But I'm just like so unsure of what I'm supposed to like to do and like for me, a lot more of it is like my calling, like what I really am meant to do. And I have always thought like whatever I do is gonna come from this, which is probably true. Like I just am like way overthinking this. And I think it's also like, I'm gonna be a senior in college next year. And I never really thought I would go through this because I already have this stuff. So like I already had something going for me, but now I'm just like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And I think that like things are just shifting in my life right now. And like something, has to be being done behind the scenes for me to be experiencing everything that I'm feeling right now. And I think also when you're going through a hard time, it kind of does suck that like, I love filming, I love recording, I love vlogging, but like, I also like kind of have to do it for my job. So it's like, I can't really just like hide out. Like I feel like I'm just so bored of myself and everything is about me. Even though like, genuinely like from the bottom of my heart, like my channel, all this stuff is not about me. Like I know that it's like Kinsey Elizabeth, but like that's not the point behind all of this. But like at the end of the day, like it is like Kenzie Elizabeth. So it's like, I'm just like bored of myself, I think. Like I wanna like do things on my channel that are not about me, even though a lot of it isn't about me. It's just like interest in like sharing things and whatever. I wanna do, I love Margot's series or video that she did, like following an entrepreneur. Like I wanna do other stuff like that. It's just hard to find the time with school um, and like my schedule and stuff. But I don't know, I'm just like rambling at this point. I don't know what I'm doing. It could be something so different. I think it's still gonna be stuff like this. I don't ever wanna like leave YouTube 
that's not what I'm saying at all. I think I'm just like really confused and very lost and very unsure of myself. And I've never really felt this stuff before. So I like, it's not the best thing ever. With that being said, I'm not trying to be like a Debbie Downer or like Ray, I don't know, like make this video like negative and just being honest because I'm sure like there has to be other people who feel this way. I'm just like, what am I doing with my life kind of thing. And yeah, so that was me being honest with you guys. Please don't be mean. Um, I'm so grateful for everything. Like I don't want it to come across as like, I'm like, oh, whatever. I think I'm just scared and fearful and unsure of myself and I don't know what I want to do and I don't know what to do. And yeah, but I love you guys. Okay, any boy in your life, I mean this wholeheartedly. Every ounce of my being means this. That is like genuinely the last thing, and again, that I want right now. Like maybe when it gets to like the summer or something, I would like consider, but like that's really just the last thing. Now that I say that, I'm gonna like start dating someone next week. Um, no I'm not, but yeah, I'm not. No boy, no interest in any boys, nothing like that. <laughs> if you could punch a celebrity in the face, who would it be? That's a funny question. How to get out of the rut. If any of you guys have good answers for this, leave them in the comments down below. Best tips for mid-semester lost motivation. I think you just need to refresh, like literally go do something fun and then come back and be like, we're gonna do this. Like, it sucks. If you guys want a whole video on this, let me know. If you guys have good tips for that, let me know in the comments down below. You, Dom, and Sav, most likely to win The Bachelor, get sent home first or be the crazy one. If you guys don't know, there's like two of my best friends. I, they're in like so many of my vlogs. We all go to school together. Uh, most likely to win would be Sav, get sent home first would be me, and the crazy one would be Dom. What's your major? I'm a business administration major. I'm getting my bachelor's next spring. Woohoo! That's gonna be so weird when that actually happens. It's not like something I ever think about, and then like, I feel like it's just gonna happen, you know? Not just gonna happen, but like, it's gonna come up quickly is what I mean. Favorite Casey Musgrave song? Currently, it is Space Cowboy. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new here. Follow me on Instagram. Pick three of these questions and give me your answer down below. Let me know what question it is. Let me know your answer in the comments down below. That's super fun. I love you guys so much, and I will see you soon. Bye.